Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of uh, June, for the next 15 days of June. This is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Libra will see what is your energy, what you need to know for the uh, next 15 days of June. What is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Uh, there is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same as in description box and comment section. So let's get started now. All right, I'm going to lay down the cards first. We have King of Wands as your energy. Then for career finances, we have the Lovers. Other general messages, we have Six of Swords, your ex, we have Nine of Wands, your next, we have Eight of Pentacles and, sorry, Six of Pentacles and Eight of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have King of Cups, Libra, so if i have to talk about the zodiac signs i see gemini over here i see scorpio over here i see sagittarius over here uh another libra i see virgo if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the signs number six is of some importance over here by the way okay we have six of swords six of pentacles and Lovers, which is also the sixth major arcana. So Libra, what do you need to know? What is your energy? We have the king of wands. Okay. King of wands is uh, someone who someone who is who is sitting on the throne not only because of, of because of the fact that they are very talented they are very skillful but also because of the fact that they are extremely passionate about their own life about whatever they are doing in their life okay and what sets the king of wands apart from rest of the kings in the deck is the tremendous and the humongous amount of passion determination the willpower that this person has okay this king of wands embodies a lot of qualities that an emperor has okay so i feel uh Libra, that for the next 15-20 days, you will find yourself becoming extremely, extremely passionate about a lot of things in your life. I, I do feel like either there is something exciting that is happening in your life, because of which you will feel so enthusiastic and uh, so overexcited about a lot of things. Or otherwise, I also feel that you have always felt like this, Libra. And I, I do see, I mean, I have known so many Libras. Uh, my parents were Libras. My mom was a Libra sun. My dad was a Libra moon. Okay. I have many Libra friends. One thing I have closely observed about Libras is that they are full of energy. The energy flow kind of never stops. Okay. They are the most passionate people in the zodiac sign. Okay. So, what I see over here, uh, Libra, is that there is so much of passion that you're going to experience in the next 15 days. You will be jumping with joy. You will be excited to do everything that you will be doing in the next 15 days. 
uh, starting from the small things to the bigger things and bigger goals in your life, you will be excited about every single thing. Okay. And there is this go-getter energy. Like you will also find yourself accomplishing a lot of things, accomplishing a lot of goals, whether big or small. Okay. Determined, high, uh, very strong willpower. Like putting in some extra hours of work just to finish off that one specific goal. No, zero procrastination. Zero, zero, zero procrastination. Okay. And because of your charged up energy, people around you are also going to feel so charged up. Okay. They will be like, that's it. Even I am going to act like Libra. Even I am going to act this... Uh, highly determined person, uh, someone who is going to accomplish all the goals, okay? I, I'm also, I will also have that go-getter kind of an energy. People around, will, around you will also feel extremely charged up because of you, okay? So that's the kind of energy you will be carrying. Then we have the lovers. Uh, as far as your... <clears throat> as far as your um, career is concerned... I feel like you will get into partnership and you're going to love that, okay? You will feel tremendous amount of support through this partnership. Maybe, um, or probably it's also likely that you're going to start something, a side hustle or a new project or a new business. And over there, you will start this new project, new business with someone in partnership, Okay. And maybe in the past you were feeling like you are required to do everything on your own. You felt le left out. You felt like you needed support. And that that much needed support is going to come through some sort of partnership. It can be a business partner. It can be some sort of collaboration as well. Okay. But I feel like through this collaboration or to, through this partnership, some part of your work is getting delegated to others. And of course, you are paying them for that. But there is also a lot of relief that is coming towards you. You will be able to focus on the core things at your workplace. Things that really matter to you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for some of you, you might even get into partnership with your romantic partner. You might get into business partnership with your romantic partner. Other things that you need to know, we have Six of Swords. Six of Swords is telling me, Libra, that uh, for some of you... Uh, a likely vacation is going to happen. You're going to travel somewhere. You're going to go somewhere. You're going to uh, you're going to refresh your mood by traveling somewhere. Okay, some last minute travels might happen. Okay. Uh. I also feel for some of you, because Six of Swords represents uh, a huge water body as well, okay? For some of you, you are trying to avoid feeling certain emotions. So you might find yourself, because you don't want to experience certain emotions, you might find yourself avoiding certain situations. Like you will be like, if I become a part of this situation, I might experience certain emotions that I don't want to experience, Okay. Say, for example, you are getting invited for a party and in that party, your ex is also getting invited and you know that. And if you feel like if my ex can, gets invited over there and if I see this person, maybe with someone else, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Okay, so you will be like, I want to avoid this. I want to avoid this party itself because I don't want to experience certain emotions. So I do see you might be avoidant of certain things or certain people or certain situations. As far as your ex is concerned, uh, your ex is contemplating coming towards you. However, this idea of theirs is being opposed by many people around them. Okay. Your ex wants to come towards you, but they are being discouraged from doing so. I'm not getting much energy from this card. Let's talk about the next person, Libra. We have six of pentacles and we have eight of swords. And we also have King of Cups at the bottom of the deck over here. Wow, we have Six of Cups as well uh, below King of Cups, okay? So I feel, Libra, that uh, again, number six is of some importance. We also have Six of Cups now. 
so i do feel like first of all balance is the key okay like you will experience uh, e- emotional stability with this new person that is entering in your life this new person will be very much in love with you no doubt about it and this is the person who will who will kind of feel like the this connection is not any casual connection there is much more to this maybe because we have six of cups this might be a this person might be a past life soulmate and this person when they will enter into a connection with you they will be the first one to recognize that this is a past life soulmate so that is why they will have much more emotional involvement initially in this connection as compared to you when it comes to you rather i feel like you will be in bit of a dilemma you will feel the attraction but you also want to validate that or you you want to f- confirm like whatever you are feeling is is right so you will spend more and more time with this person ra- rather than jumping on to conclusions you will be like no i want to spend more time i i want to see if what i'm feeling right now is is also what i'll be feeling for a longer period of time or whenever i'm spending this time with you the same feeling continues okay i i want to make sure that whatever i'm feeling is not just infatuation okay so uh i think so this person from the very beginning itself they will be head over heels in love with you and they will let you know libra like this is a soulmate connection this is this is something special and both of you need to nurture this connection it is quite possible that you might both of you might go to a tarot card reader for some reading you might do some past life regression analysis okay whoever is coming towards you is very kind hearted okay uh very generous it's quite uh, it is also quite possible that they might gift you a lot of things okay that is their way to impress you that is their way to express their love uh yeah i'm getting that energy a lot like they will be giving you a lot they will be gifting you a lot okay uh all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye